Good afternoon, I'm Stephanie Brown. And I'm Scott Apple, and this is Wolfpack News for Friday, September 12, 2014. All sophomores will be attending the college fair Monday morning from 8.30 to 9.30 in the Commons. Check out the Student Services website for potential questions to ask a college representative. Seniors will be attending the college fair as well as a presentation in the PAC. All students will be called down over the intercom. The homecoming dance is October 11th. Any student planning to attend with a guest who is not an OE student must turn in a guest pass to the Dean's office. Guest passes can be found in the Dean's office or online and must be turned in by October 1st, no exceptions. Aurora East High School is hosting the National Sp Hispanic College Fair on Wednesday, October 1st from 9 to 10.20 a.m. There will be more than 50 colleges and universities represented. Go down to Student Services for more information. The PSAT will be offered here at East on Saturday, October 18th. The PSAT is an optional test. If you'd like to sign up, go to Student Services. The test fee is $20. Any sophomores interested in being part of the sophomore class committee should come to the first meeting next Monday after school in E392. Bring ideas for a t-shirt design for class color day during homecoming week. Contact Ms. Knutson with any questions. The first league of United Latin American Citizens meeting will be held next Wednesday after school in J107. If you have any questions, see Joe Sanchez or Daisy Osagera. Some of you might be wondering who puts on the news each day. We're part of a broadcast club, and on purpose is to, is to provide information, a connection to the student body. There are multiple positions, DV, audio, teleprompter, technical director, cameras, and floor director. Along with the anchors, sport and entertainment, there are meetings to discuss aspects of improvement, along with time to practice. Not only is the news a way to provide information to the school, but being involved is a great way to make new friends with people who share a common interest of broadcasting. That's the latest in entertaining. There's a lot to offer. If you're interested in the broadcasting field whatsoever, ECU is a great way to get real life experience and actually see like how a broadcast works and what goes through with it. I love being a part of ECV, being I've been a part of it for four years now. Um, it's very fun. All the people are super friendly and it's something I'm very passionate about. One cool thing about the news is that it's on YouTube for parents and students to enjoy outside of school. Seniors with a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher are eligible for, for the National Honor Society membership. Download the necessary forms from Mrs. Calvi's website or see Mrs. Calvi in the English Department office with any questions. Teacher recommendations and the interest inventory are due no later than Friday, October 3rd. Business Club's first meeting is next Monday in room C1111. And see Mrs. Brown, Mr. Brown with any questions. Mu Alpha Theta is accepting new members. In order to join, you need to have a math GPA of 3.7 or higher, as well as completed Algebra 2 or Algebra 2 honors. If you qualify, pick up an application outside the math office, E380. Applications are due by September 29th. See Mrs. Knutson or Mrs. Gassett with questions. The Future Educators Association is also looking for members. FEA is a group that is open to any student who is interested in becoming a teacher or working with children. Sign up with Mrs. Van Weil and turn in the yearly dues. Student Services is proud to announce the 7th Annual College Fair next Monday during the school day. All sophomores and seniors will attend. There will be 60 colleges and four branches of the military represented. All grade levels are invited to attend college visits through the end of September for Iowa, Wesleyan, Fair State, Yale, U of I, Robert Morris, Marquette, Kent State, and Truman University. See Mrs. Weber in the College and Career Center to sign up. If you're looking for service hours, Boulder, Boulder Hill Elementary School has several events coming up and they need volunteers. Go to Student Services to sign up. Talk leadership applications are available for pickup in the Student Services. Visit Student Services with any questions and now, it's time for sports. Here's Alexa. There will be a brief informational meeting next Monday after school in the Commons for any girls interested in playing powder puff football and boys interested in coaching. Please see Ms. Kyrus if you have any questions. Our Lady Wolves wa lost to Plainfield Central last night in two games, 17 to 25 and 23 to 25. Kelly Burton and has had 10 kills and Haley Algeyer had 11 digs. Freshman soccer continues its winning streak by defeating the Lockport Porters 6-1. Manuel Mag Magna, Justin Jones, Kai Hallam, Juan Vega, and Sam Marks' two goals were created by the great team effort. The freshmen are now 4-0. 
After school strength and conditioning will be offered Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 2 to 4 p.m. Anyone is welcome to attend and get in shape. Now that's the latest in sports. Now back to the anchor desk. Juniors and seniors who want to pursue a degree in the healthcare field can experience at the Dr. Rubin's Mini Medical School in January 2015. If interested, fill out an application in student services and turn it in by October 10th. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Stephanie Brown. And I'm Scott Apple. Join us again next week on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great weekend. Go Wolves.